Good evening. I'm going to be sharing healing prayers for every day for the 28th of May because I didn't have time to do all of the prayers. So I'm going catching up in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to Guardian Angel. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. The reading for the 28th of May is taken from 2 Corinthians 3, verse 12. Therefore, since we have such hope, we can act with complete confidence. The reflection. We have all known a bright, popular person who became depressed and losing hope became suicidal. Deep-rooted rejection and abuse in childhood is often the reason for their despair. Bring that person or persons before you for God's healing love to penetrate their darkness. The prayer, Lord shed your light in the dark corners of my mind and heart. Ease my burdens and heaviness of heart. Amen. That prayer is for anyone who is suffering from depression and it is a tragic thing but it is true. Uh, that's how abuse comes out in many many people. Healing reflections. For those who have difficulty relating to God as a loving Father the following steps may be helpful. Ask for the grace to be healed of past hurts, dealing with your father, your grandfather, your brother, a relative, or anyone. You know who the persons who offended you are. And then reflect upon the three greatest hurts. And then expect through Jesus Christ there will be healing. Then seek prayer from someone familiar with this type of healing process. Prayers do exist. I've done one on here from Ezekiel 47. Life prayers. And you could join a prayer group uh, that's um, cross-denominational, like at Cock Fosters in London. Then, pray for the desire to forgive. That's not easy. You can do that only through the power of God, joining your will to God's. You would not be able to do it in your own strength. You certainly can join it to God's and it will happen. Then pray for your father, whether living or dead, or the person, or if he's living, pray blessings upon him. Place no conditions on your prayer. Then praise and thank God for your father, whether living or dead, whether you have good feelings or bad feelings about him. Praise is a decision, not a feeling. Search the scriptures and write down all the verses that speak to you about God the Father's personal love and care. 
Then repeat these scriptures daily and let them become part of you. And also seek spiritual direction. The help is there in Christian communities. Thank you for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you God's peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And God bless you and have a wonderful weekend. And thank you for listening to me.